Yes, people, what's going on? This is your boy Theo here, and this is a real talk. And I want to talk to you real quick about Boris Johnson resigning as Prime Minister. Um, I have to say, I'm relieved. That was my first reaction from it. Um, when I heard the news earlier this morning, I was I was like talking to my colleagues about it and everything, and um, you know, it was almost thinking to myself, yeah, let's break out the champagne and everything. But I don't think I can actually really truly celebrate. You want to know why? I can't really move on from the fact that we've suffered the last two years of basic hell, really. Hell because so many people have lost their loved ones through COVID. So many people had to change tack in terms of their lives, you know, having to find new jobs and, you know, having to having to deal with so much throughout that time. Of course, we got the, the cost of living crisis that's going on. Um, and we're trying so hard now to find a way to make ends meet, finding a way to, to just live, basically. And it's just hard. It is really, really, really hard. And I don't think it's going to get any better. Um, we obviously, we got the war in Ukraine. And I know that, you know, Boris Johnson was trying so hard to be an ally. And yes, we should be able to help um, help these people. But right now, this country is broken more so than ever before. And I was listening to James O'Brien earlier today and, you know, he, he summed it quite broken. It's, sorry, he summed it up quite perfectly. This country is, on, is just a wreck. It is a wreck. And it really is a wreck. You know, you've got the division in people. You've got the, the, the way in which like, the, the, the public are are now in nowadays it's not like how what how it was when i was a kid growing up you know you you know that so that certain things was 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 a little bit better back then than it is now i could be wrong but it just feels like it just feels like something is just lost and that's what it comes down to something's lost now we know now that the government now is being reformed and they're going to eventually going to pick a new leader in due course. We know that Boris Johnson is going to stay on as prime minister until a new leader is elected. And um, right now, I'm not so sure who that person is. And I don't know if they're going to be any better. He or she... Um, is about to embark on something that could change the fabric of this country, possibly for the better, but I don't think so. I think that the fair thing to do would be to call a general election. That way we can decide. We can actually say to ourselves, can we really go through another few years with the Conservatives leading? Can we really do that? I don't think I can. I don't think I can because they think that they've done things, but they really haven't. They really haven't. They've, they've, they've um, had to go on U-turns. They had to, um, they had to make mistakes, and there's scandal after scandal after scandal. And don't get me started on Partygate, which really riles me as a person that these people were partying whilst people died and Boris Johnson ended up just lying about it constantly. It's unacceptable. And when I heard his resignation speech earlier today, not one bit of remorse came from his mouth. Not one. All he done, he was just talking about how great it felt to be Prime Minister, how great it felt to lead and how great it felt to 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 do what he he did thinking that it was the best in us the british people no it wasn't it it just really wasn't right 
what we got from this is hardship. What we got from this was heartache. And what we got from this is just something now in which we don't even know how we can actually be better from. We don't know. We honestly do not know. So yes, I'm glad that Boris Johnson is going. He's the worst prime minister that we've ever had, in my opinion. I've been saying this for the longest time, that this guy is not fit to lead. This guy is no leader. This guy is someone who is a fun time guy. And and he's going to probably go back into the world of journalism. And he's probably going to do guest stints on Have I Got News For You. And possibly go on I'm A Celebrity, Get Me Out Of Here. There's a shirt waiting for him. Even Anton Deckel's holding it up. But we need to be serious here. This country is broken. And we need somebody now who's going to really bring everybody together. We need somebody that can actually be relatable. Not somebody who's like so focused on just helping out those who are um, well to do and all that jazz. We need somebody that's going to be able to help each other move up and level up. I didn't, I don't think I didn't think I would actually say that but yes of course we all need a way to um to level up look at what's happened with covid look at what's happened with the education system look what's happened with healthcare with the NHS and, and what we've gone through you know what we gone through I've sat I've sat many times thinking about how things are going to look when once we come out of the pandemic i know it's not entirely over but hear me out i've wondered what it would be like and now i got my answer and i don't like it i was hoping that things would be better instead it's just worse so yeah i'm glad that boris johnson is gone i am and maybe somebody can actually lead better but i don't know I really don't know anymore. If you ask somebody else, like if you was, if I was to go on, on uh, if I was to go and ask a lot of people what they think, people are just fed up. People are fed up. They don't want to listen to what these people have to say anymore. They don't want to listen to them. They had enough. They just want to live their lives, pay their bills, do their thing, and that's it. They don't care about anything else other than themselves. Sorry to say, but that's what. I've got the feeling from most people, they don't care anymore. We need somebody that's going to to care to actually do something that would actually benefit everybody. Now, don't ask me to um, run for prime minister because I've not even, even in, I haven't even got a clue what to do. All I know is that I would want to do the best I can even if I did get into politics all I would do is that I would want to do something that in which it helps everybody not just you know cutting corners not just like putting people in in a certain way um and then it undercuts everybody else I would be trying my best to help out everybody and be seen to do so I would do something in terms of common sense in the last couple of years, the, the decisions that, that Boris Johnson has made and everything, it just, like, it baffles even me. So, yeah. <sighs> there you go. That was my reaction from it. I'm sorry it has been long-winded. It has been a long day. I've been hard at work for the past week now. And, um, yeah, I just wanted just to get it off my chest to say what I think about Boris Johnson designing so if you like this video please like it subscribe if you're new comment below let me know what you think about boris leaving eventually and uh i'll be back with another video soon all right peace out people